hey my country kitchen viewers welcome back to my channel it's amazing to have you guys here with me once more i know it's been a while i'm making a sour food cake for my friend and i decided to come over here and share this recipe with you very quick all right it's a quick and simple easy to follow recipe i have my sorrel here that was brewed already i will insert a short clip later on to show you how i prepare this but most of you already know how to prepare sorrel drink so this is like my third time making it the first time it was perfect i posted it on my main page the second time it was a bit on the heavier side because i added more fruits plus the liquid content from the sorrel so i have fixed the problem so i'm here to show you the do's and the don't all right so i'm doing a half pound mixture today because i'm making one cake for her and a little sample for myself so now we're going to cream our butter and our sugar if you're doing a half pound mixture you want to add half pound of butter like i'm doing right here half pound of sugar and if you're making a one pound mixture you know you're going to add one pound butter one pound sugar all right so now we're just going to allow that to whip until it's nice and smooth so right here i have my flour we're going to sift that and i am also adding my baking powder my cinnamon my nutmeg and i'm also adding some mixed spice all right everything will be listed in my description box and if i remember i will also put it up on the screen so after sifting all my dry ingredients i'm just going to use a whisk to make sure that everything is combined and then i'm going to set that aside by now your oven should be preheated at 270 degrees and you should also have your cake tin already prepped before and ready so right here i have six eggs i am going to grate the zest from this orange in my eggs just to cut the rawness and i'm just gonna whisk it and set it aside until my butter and sugar is creamed all right and we're also gonna move over to our liquid ingredients which is gonna be our sorrel and our fruits in my fruits i have rum and wine so that's all the rum and wine that we're gonna need and after you add your fruits it's gonna also change the color of your sorrel especially if your your um your fruits was stewed all right so your cake is gonna come out a little bit brown or a little bit purplish so you can also go ahead and add some red food coloring to enhance the color if that is what you wish if you're fine with the color that's fine you don't have to add any food coloring all right so right now my butter and my sugar is fluffed and ready and i am going to add my eggs for the eggs i'm going to add them gradually oh lord i'm having a hoarseness in my throat so i apologize for that guys I really didn't want to do the voiceover but I wanted to post this video and get it off my phone so I apologize for the way that I sound. Alright so now I'm just going to gradually add my eggs and allow that to whisk. Alright so you don't want to over mix it so you just want to go slowly and just upgrade to medium speed but not high speed. It might seem like I'm doing it fast but it's because I sped up the video to cut time. All right, so now that everything is ready, I am just going to add my sugar, egg, and butter mixture into my fruits and sorrel. And then we're going to gradually add our dry ingredients. All right, so for the dry ingredients, we are just going to fold it in with a wooden spoon. So we're going to mix and fold in as usual. And when I made my version of the sorrel fruit cake, I posted it on my main page. And a lot of people was coming in my um, comment section talking about... Um, this is Auntie Dana recipe and all of that. I had to block some of you guys because don't be ignorant. Miss Dana did not create sorrel fruit cake and you can't just bring the lady's name to my page. I know she did not send you. Sorrel fruit cake has been around for a while in other Caribbean countries. She had her version and she made it. She did not share her, her version with you guys. She only showed you a picture of her cake. So how did I come up with Auntie Dana recipe? It's not her recipe. So just stop with the ignorance, okay? Everybody do their own thing. Everybody try their own thing. Stop calling the lady name. So what I do now is just block and delete. I really don't have time to receive any form of negativity in my life i don't have the energy for that to be honest so just don't all right so as you can see i am just um mixing and i'm folding in my dry ingredients i've never um allowed this part to be mixed in the mixer 
I just use my spoon to fold in the flour just to prevent over mixing of the butter. All right, so. So after adding all the dry ingredients, to know if your butter is perfect, you can just use your wooden spoon to stand in the center of your bowl. And if it stays standing, that means your cake batter is ready. It's an old trick, an old technique that I've always seen my aunts and my grandmom and my mom do back in the days. So you can go ahead and try that. All right. So the problem that happened with the second cake that I bake with the liquid content, it didn't balance out. So it made the cake a bit heavy. So what I did was to my half pound mixture, I added another one third cup of flour to balance out the liquid content from the sorrel and the fruits so if you made this before and you had that problem now you know how to fix that all right so now i'm just going to pour it in you know i already had my oven preheated at 270 my cake tin are greased and lined and i'm just going to pop them in these took two and a half hours to bake and they came out perfect you can go ahead and use your spatula to level off the top of your cake and if your cake um if you're pouring in other cake tin and your cake is sitting on the counter you may want to just knock it on the counter to remove the air bubble but after you knock it on the counter you want to make sure that you pop it in the oven right away all right so here they are they came out beautiful after two and a half hours i'm just spraying them with some rum and some wine and i'm going to cut the one that's going to be eaten by us i'm going to cut that one to show you the texture of the cake all right the other one is going to new york so we are going to cut this one to show you the texture because i know you guys are going to eat my head if i don't cut it and show you so <laughs> let me just do that all right so if any of you guys are doubting yourself to bake this Christmas, please don't doubt yourself. Just build the confidence. It's okay if it's spoiled, you can start over. Just practice until it becomes perfect, all right? You never know. Your husband or your kids may enjoy these cakes, so just go ahead and try them. So here we go, guys. This is the texture of the cake. It came out so soft and so moist. It was really nice and I'm going to also show you a clip of the first one that I baked. This is the first one that I baked. It was baked in a different cake tin, so it's a bit higher. So, and they were both tasting delicious. All right. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the Country Kitchen for more delicious recipes. Happy holidays and a prosperous new year to you all.